Greetings, ladies and gentlemen! It's my Android 4 here, and welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. As in our last episode slash session, we took on the remainder of the Mushroom 13! The Earth by satiating their curiosities, getting ourselves some trophies, as well as a brand new Keyblade. And a bit of a bonus, a little crown upon our heads. Look at, look at its beauty, if I can get a good close view. Look at this. Look at this bronze beauty. <sighs> Although I'm not a big fan of bronze. So before we move on, go check out the previous episodes slash episodes in the description of the playlist down below. I haven't split it up at this point in time. Uh, because today, we move on to phase two of the crowning. We're hanging on back to the Cavern of Remembrance. That's right, guys. If you remember from earlier in the series, I mentioned this briefly and how we'd be coming back here. And basically... This little hole here is a Final Mix exclusive. This was not available in the original Kingdom Hearts 2, along with the Mushroom 13, as well as one other bonus, which I eh, won't spoil it now, but I got a feeling you Kingdom Hearts fans may know what it is. That being said, for the Cavern of Remembrance, this I war Make sure you have mastered everything, and I don't just mean levels. For this dungeon, as I like to call it, you're going to want to have all your forms maxed out. I am not kidding. Make sure, for all intents and purposes, we go to status, make sure everything is at level 7. If you do not, you're kind of hosed. The only thing you don't have to worry about is summoning, and that's because, well, they're, they're summons. They don't have any other purpose. Uh, but... It's the limit. Master and final, you will want these maxed out. Otherwise... You're going to have to come back in here from time to time, and it's going to be annoying because you won't even remember what you were supposed to do. That's why I intend on doing all these at once, instead of just, you know, coming in here, showing you guys off what it is, and then coming back later when we're fully prepared. I'm doing this all at once, because this is the key to getting our silver crown. That being said, let's begin. Down into the depths we go! Welcome to the Cavern of Remembrance Depths. A radiant garden. Immediately you'll see yourselves a little red balloon here. Which you can use to farm drive orbs. Now what for what purpose would you need them? Well, I just explained it. You're gonna be using your drive forms here completely. Or at least not well not completely, I should say, but basically here's the deal. So we walk on in, immediately you'll see yourself a lot of dutiful platforms. The only way to get to said platforms is through your abilities. If you have regular Sora with no extra uh, nuances, you're not going to be able to get anywhere in this uh, area. The most you get down to is right here, where you can find tough as nails enemies. Where, where it's so tough that they can beat you in one shot if they tr without even trying. Thankfully, we're level 99, so these guys are kind of a joke to us now. But yeah. That just cements how much prepared you'll want to be. Also, because I'm immediately forgetting this, uh, let's go to our abilities and unequip the negative combo, because I don't like to have my full potential on me. You know what I mean? Uh, so let's see... Yep, get rid of that. Click. Perfect. Uh, anything else I can equip? I can't think of anything. Yep, I, I think that's actually good. So yeah. This is the only thing you can get to in normal form. You can grab yourself a few chests, fight a few enemies, and if you're lucky, get yourself a few rare materials, like that Remembrance Stone we got earlier. Yes, yes. But mainly, the big thing about this area, besides the enemies, is uh, the different materials you can get for synthesis. This is where you'll get the, big, the materials needed for your best equipment. And I'll say, I won't say anything much there, I'll leave, I'll leave it in suspense. Basically, be ready to farm here if you're wanting to go for 100%. In weapons, in trophies, in just completion, pure completion standard, you will want to. I think said these guys aren't much of a threat now. Grab this. Now you will too. Here, feel the magnet. Feel the power of my magnet, fool. Choo choo! Choo 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 choo! Choo 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 choo! Get down! Get down, buddy! Get down! 
Okay, okay, so that's taken care of. I showed off this basic grounds for fighting. Probably give you a good chunk of experience. I wouldn't know. But yeah, now on to the big stuff. Or, okay, hold on, there's one more little bit of enemies. Okay, you, you are going to stop this. Yes. are magnet now. Okay, no, one shot. Like, that, that really does tell you how powerful we are. Yes. Yes. Okay, you need to chill out. Come on, give me. I freaking dare you! I will freaking dare you! Bring it on, trucker! Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on! I dare you, I dare you, I dare you, I dare you! Ah, freaking dare you, son! Okay, now that's all taken care of. Let's actually get out some of the main things. I want to see, can I? Nope, I cannot. And you are not. Okay, will you die? Good riddance, jeez. These are giving me a headache. But yeah. It goes without saying, you'll need your drive forms here. More or less. If not more. You see, in normal form, with at least our glide ability, we can get, you know, this far. We don't even need our forms. However, you want to get this done very early, then you... Well, that's what the point of the little, uh, balloon back there was. It helps you build up, build up your, uh, drive orbs, so you can actually use your forms. Personally, I'd recommend just going to the Olympus Coliseum if you don't have driver recoveries. If it's recoveries, well then obviously use those, you'll be good to go. And I cannot stress that enough. Uh, that's where we need to go, but before I get there, there's one treasure up here you'll want to grab- Oh, if I don't fall off, okay. Let's try it again. <clears throat> there's one treasure you'll want to grab. Come up here, you grab this, and if you lose, that's not the way you want. What you really want is over here. They can only access with Glide. The Manifest Illusion. These are rare items. Almost as rare as the, uh, Morikalkum. Yeah, you heard me right. There are only three known ways of getting these in this game. One is from that church chest right there. The other way is from completing the Frontier, uh, puzzle set. And the last way... Well, again, that goes into spoilers, so I'm not gonna say anything about that. But basically, they're hard to come by. So I recommend grabbing this one when you get the chance, because you will need that, and I cannot stress it enough, you will need this for synthesis. I... I... Ugh. Okay, so we grab that, now let's head on over this way. I'm gonna glide on the way back, so I can see if I can grab the puzzle piece. Or actually... Yeah, it's just right here. Okay, we're good. So we can do that. I don't know if... Yeah, I probably can't. But we can at least do this. Climb back onto this ledge, and now we glide over here. And thankfully, we get the mine shafts with ourselves a mini-map for the depths of the remembrance. So yeah, that was just part one of our trial. Now we have part two. And also, if it weren't obvious enough, but these orbs, when you go into certain forms, like this, they'll glow, indicating which form you actually need to use. It's a nice little tidbit that they added, but, uh, again, I don't need the forms. I don't. And I'll gladly attack them so I can build up my drag edge a little bit. Unfortunately, you can't uh, destroy any farther. I think in Final Mix uh, PlayStation 3 version, you can actually you hit these things endlessly. So you don't have to worry about driver carries. Here, though, they've either mitigated or the, co or the code didn't work. Either way, no reason why you need your driver recoveries. But yeah, for this one, you need Wisdom Form with your full dash ability. You either use the limit form, or well, the form itself, or if you max it out like me, just dash across it. And then just arrow dodge. Yeah, they've become a little more lenient with this puzzle, if I remember right. More so than the PlayStation 3 version. Where you it's basically guaranteed that you did that you need them in order to get through things. But yeah, the next thing about these areas is they also have little mini uh, block in sections. How fitting, considering this was the uh, home of that. Heartless War. Yeah, suck on that. Jeez, you got uh not giving up, are you? Chill out. Come on. Get down! Uh, will you stop it? Stop having hissy fits. Good boy. Much better. Alright, so that's one down. Now you got two pathways you can go down. You can go down this little doorway right here, and it'll take you to the next part of the area, the mining area. Thing is you can't get any further. You're stuck here. You can't glide past. 
and examine, time is unavailable. You'll need to find another way. And sure enough, the other way is right down here. I think. <laughs> nope, dang it. I was hoping for a uh, dramatic thing. Okay, but what you really need to do, you come back here, and you immediately take the left pathway. And granted, that'd probably be your first thing if you played RPGs before, but here we have the depths, which gives you a little bit of slack, I think, right? So you can get yourself a quick entry back here, as well as a Remembrance Gem, which is one of the few materials you can actually get here. Alright, here we go. Yeah, this is what I was originally referring to, trying to get to. I guess I mistook things. Use powerful attacks to open the valves. You'll need to open them, or open three, at once. Yep. Now for this one, it's a little, little interesting. You can either use Final Form or Master Form. Personally, Final Form is actually the most difficult to use with this one. Master Form, on the other hand, Let's go. well, basically, it's all you need at once, but then Daga. Since I'm not an area of effect thing, I can, can I get to the north way? Thank you. Because a good chunk of area. The only annoying thing is that. So you gotta be a little timeful. But yeah, it's much more forgiving. Whereas if you use final form, you have to mash them and then completely dash the. Hope that it doesn't. And hope it doesn't uh, regain itself. So yeah, definitely I recommend using master form of all those. But yeah, now the mining shaft has become accessible. And since we're in uh, Master Form already anyway, might as well use this to our advantage, right? There's a little Serenity Gem right there. And now let's head back the way we came. From here, the forms are rising, they're moving from side to side. It's basically like another area. Now, of course, with here, you're going to need, uh, well, your master form. Either that, or mastered everything else. Mastered everything in your normal form, and you're good to go. Yeah. But one thing you can do here, instead of just going up and jumping all the way over there, you can ride the wind. Soar for a little bit. Okay, I'll dodge over the way, and there you go. Got ourselves a Sorny Day Gem. We got ourselves another ride the wind thing, but I'm not going to take that risk quite yet. I'm going to grab that puzzle piece right there. <laughs> get to do this again. There. Jump. There we go. And of course there's a puzzle piece right there, which we'll need to jump on over to get. Of course there's a platform right here to save us from completely falling off. Uh, that makes everything a lifesaver. Jump on back over. Get just right here with an AP boost. Another puzzle piece that we can grab for our little arsenal. And another treasure chest. Yeah, Buzz and Obvious is a, the perfect place for uh, item grabbing. I am grabbing Minder's love. Wait, what? There's a map resolution. Wow. Okay, I'm. I'm completely surprised. I did not know there was two of those in here. Huh. I guess that's what happens when you don't pay attention to what you're doing. But okay. Let's grab this one now. I believe this has the next map. If the Dark Remembrance map for this section of the area. And now we go into the next section of the area. And this is where you'll really your master form. Like, yeah, I'm not even joking here. Like, even if you have everything maxed out, normal form is not going to work here. I've tried. It doesn't work for me. What we're going to want to do is jump, and then jump back up there. You can attempt to glide, but that's... Keep in mind, that cancels out your second aerial dodge, so... Not a good thing to do. I recommend having your master form of all things ready for that little segment. But then we get this next, um, gauntlet of enemies, and these guys are annoying! I struggled with these guys so many times in preparation for this one, one session slash episode that, uh, I was just completely irritated. Uh oh I wanna reflect, I wanna reflect, I wanna reflect, I want to reflect! And I don't want to be caught in the storm! Oh, I'm back to normal, I just realized that. Okay. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Get in with my magnet. That's it. Get magnets, get magnets, get magnets, magnet, magnets. Will you scrap? Thank you. There we go, get rid of you and you and you and you and you. 
Stop it! Get magnetized! Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Ah, I feel I feel so much better now. Now knowing that I took care of that in one shot. Okay, I believe this is the last area. Or no, actually, this is the second last area. Here we go, it's a little bit of a conveyor belt-like area. Builds the room heartless, they'll just keep respawning no matter what you do, so uh, keep moving forward. Don't think you can just run away, heal, you know, etc, etc, et come back. These guys will respawn no matter what. So you're gonna want to keep moving all your power. Hang on the limit because I'm about to die. I don't think that a chance. I hate these guys, and the limit seems to make them into a complete joke. If I can jump up here, that'd be great. Jump. Jump. Alright. Nope! Break. Not doing this again. We are not doing this again. Yeah. This is it. Here's all some stones and gems. All I need is a remembrance shard, and... Well, I think my complexion for this area will be complete. Yeah, eh, stop it. Okay, we just gotta jump. Another Serenity Crystal. Cool. Ow, ow, you tools are getting it now. Oh no, no, no. Wait, I need to stop, 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 stop. If it weren't obvious enough, stay away from the edge of this area. Otherwise, you're going to fall back to the bottom. And once again, enemies respawn. Rapidly, quickly. So you don't want to do that. I'll get rid of them as soon as possible. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, no, no, no! Dang it! And now we gotta go back up there again. Yay! Not before killing these guys, so they don't get in my way later. Get back in there! You get back in there! Jeez! Ah, my lord, hello! Ah. This is time to not limit form, so it'll be easier to get through here. Screw you, fool. You fall. You feel the power of the magnet. No, no. Get rid of you. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, that does not work. Thank you for running into that. Sucker. Alright, there we go. Crystal. Now, I think, I think with that we... That's what I think. I think. This thing. We got stones, we got the gems. I'm honestly not sure what else there is. That's not a good sign, actually. I'm at least hoping we grabbed everything here. If not, ugh, that might be a bit of an issue. Or actually, can we check that from right here? Maybe we can. Ow. Go, screw, screw this. Come on, up here. You wanna find me? Come up here. Find me on even playing ground. Where you can't be bouncing me back. I grab that. Another remembrance crystal. Cool. Okay, that, that's what I thought. Get out of my sights, fools. So we come over here! No, 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 ow, 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 okay. I'm not going back at the limit. I will never go back at the limit. Yeah. Yeah. Can I please reflect? Or magnet? Can one magnet man? Come on, hit me. Hit me, baby. Hit me where I'm, I'm vulnerable. I dare you. <laughs> okay. Now we got the last section here. Then have one more treasure chest. The magic boost increases magic by one, usable only from the main menu. And here we need final form, or I think you can barely scratch it in your maxed out, uh, maxed out final form, normal form. Basically, what you gotta do is glide over the entire area. And I did that in my first try. I never do that in my first try. I wonder if levels have anything to do with it. Yep, screw it. I'm gonna try this again. I don't see if that was just luck. Because I struggled with this when I was in normal form. But in final form, I'm apparently... Or, uh, in final form. You get the idea. I struggled with this. But apparently...
dude, what the heck even? What even? This was just... Me leveling up and giving myself extra... Uh, windows, I suppose? Not as much room for being hugged by certain objects? Because again, I maxed out file form when attempting this cavern for practice, and I struggle with that. How we... I... I don't even know. Either way, I'm gonna move on. But yeah, that's the end of the little challenges. Here? Well, now... It's of endurance. Make sure you're healed up. Like I am not, clearly. Uh, let's go to our stock. That should do me good for a little bit. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. But while I'm here, I want to check. Does it actually show the items? Now it shows how many of these things we've got. We gotta collect some of these. Oh, here we go. So there's all our regular stuff. Tranquility shards. Where's our remember stuff? Okay, okay, so we did grab a remembered shard. I honestly didn't think we did. Good to know. So we got that, we got ourselves a stone, a remembrance crystal, and gem. That is everything, then. We collected every material, then. Sweet! I'm just gonna make the um, end of this episode slash session all the more sweeter. But yeah, like I said before, be ready for anything, and let's move! Because here we have ourselves the goblins defeat all of the nobodies. And here's where they truly throw everything at you. Remember the uh, Hades Cup? Well, these guys are on level with the Hades Cup nobodies. These guys are tough. They have good defenses. If you are not maxed out or close enough, these guys will wreck you. When I did this, at the current level we were at when we fought Xemnas, it took me hours. Then it took me during this to get past this one area alone, one hour to get past the next one, and then I never got past the last area. Like, it is pain. That being said, Magic Hero will be your best friend, keep your distancing. Ow, 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 ow. Of course, have to and pray for anything, just in case, you never know what could happen. Get down! Ooh! I was not expecting that, but I'll take it! And if it would and that's... So that's round one! And... Round two! Some more snipers! Of course, we'll collect those back at him, or you can immediately man them, that's what I normally would do. Get rid of you. And we got ourselves some berserkers! Gamblers in tow! And get one of our signature staffs? Is it? That'll make your life so much easier! Good little tools. Suck up my thunder! I'm not trying to do that, but I'll take it, I guess. Uh oh, okay, I need to reflect, I need to reflect. Come at me, come at me, come on, man. I'm done with this! Give me your stand! And you! Over here! Yeah. Oh. Ah, I'm angry! Okay, that's round number two, and finally round number three, with Dragoons! Yeah. It's over. Too much with these guys, just yeah. reflect when they're about to go into their little shell there. And you're good to go. We got ourselves also some dancers and those things that keep away from when they're doing that little glowy glow. That'll deal a good hell of a lot of damage. And this a curse when it hits like that. Enough of you. And of course they got sorcerers. They they always gotta have sorcerers, right? Be ready to reflect these little tricks. In truth, this is probably what made me struggle with this area the most, is the freaking sorcerers. 
Like, they are such a pain! Especially when they do that little, uh, cube hand slap around the arena. When they do that, be aware! Like that! Get out! One more! Okay, I'm going to limit now. And I'm not taking the risk. Suck! Suck this! The power of my limit! She knows no limits! Cheerio, boy! Cheerio, boy! Right in there. Oh, you little. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. I see how it is. Suck it. Suck it. No fall. Uh oh. I don't have any MP. And unfortunately, being hit by this does not increase my MP uh, or decrease my de uh, magic restoration time. Which is kind of a missed opportunity, but I think I'd probably be a little power. Ow, I'm being flung around the arena! Okay, we're burning. No! Mother! 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 Submit! Again! I'm so glad I did that. That was the close one! Enough! You die! I want to be done with this area. Yeah, look at this area. We're max level, and this one's probably giving us the most trouble. Just imagine doing this at level... I don't even remember what level is when we fought them. this. Like level 60, I think? Like, they are. These guys are mother freaking tough. But we're almost done. A few more strikes should do the trick. I think. I think, I think, I think. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I'm Thomas the Tank Engine. Suck. This. So much! Yes! I think that last area sells one more item slot and it been HP for Donald and Goofy. And now for our reward. The ultimate hidden lair of Hollow Bastion slash Radiant Garden. And as you can immediately tell. This was a grounds for the organization, the Garden of Assemblage. We turn on the monitor like so, and when we do, gates appear from the weird rising, or I guess, steady waterfall. Don't know how to put it. But when that you do. Thirteen doors appear right before you, or perhaps eight, or nine. It all depends, because guess what these are? Battles Dennis again, but be warned, he's stronger than before. Yep. Welcome to the data rematches, ladies and gentlemen. By far the second most difficult uh, side quests of the game. You can refight the organization members, at higher levels, higher strengths, higher HPs, all the works. All with either new strategies, new tactics, but they are difficult. And we're going to be taking on all of them. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. And when you beat all 13 of them, that will get our next tier of the crown. As you, I wish I've led up to this point. That being said, be forewarned. You won't be able to take on all 13 of these unless you've actually fought them in the main story. If you for some reason have been able to get to this point at a very low level, which is not impossible mind you, there are level 1 speedruns after all, the only doors that will be available to you are the ones of the organization members that you have already defeated. Meaning in our case, have we not done the absent silhouettes? Lexius, Marluja, 
Larxene, Zexion, and Vexen would not be in here. The only way to fight all 13 of them is to have already defeated them in the main story. So that being said, be ready for a challenge when you are ready. And that's going to have to wait for next time for me. Because I figure out the entire strategy with some of these guys. Because, again, these are data rematches. They're much harder than before, much stronger. You gotta be ready. So, before we get on our way and end the, the episode here, and I'm definitely considering it being an episode, it's been 30 minutes long at least, we're gonna head on, on, on out our way. From here we head back to the restoration site. Where to? Specifically? Right back here. Yep, this wall right here was an illusion devised by Satan. And now we've made our progress, and can come back here at any moment we want. We don't have to go through the Cavern of Remembrance to get to that area ever again. Let's activate that terminal, and get ourselves a permanent shortcut. That being said, before we head on back, we're going to go over to the Moogle. And do one final thing. And I think you guys are going to like this, because I have never done this before in any Kingdom Hearts game before. So we synthesize, and over all our synthesis materials in stock, we get an Orc Outcome for completing one collection, and an Orc Outcome Plus for completing the entire collection. And our Orc Outcome for completing the collection, Serenity Crystals are now available for collection, and we're completing, yeah, 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 blah, blah, we get the idea. I was hoping to leave the Orc Outcome stuff for... You can get one from here too! Oh, come on! Okay, I give up. Apparently, some of these things are much easier to get than Core Calcum. I'm... I just... <sighs> Either way! Lost Illusions, cool. Power Gems gonna be part of the shots for completing the collection. That's helpful. Because I'm gonna need those to make myself some elixirs. But yeah. And now... We're basically set in stone. Now... If I had grabbed this earlier... We'd be crafting one very special item. An item that has appeared through all the Kingdom Hearts games of this point, and will appear in all the Kingdom Hearts games of this point, I'm guaranteeing this, as well as a main staple of the King... Uh, well, I was about to say Kingdom Hearts, but I wanted to tell you that. A main staple of the Final Fantasy franchise. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. But if not, let us work out long we have... We're gonna head on back to the save point, of course. Because we need to head on back to Twilight Town. I'm going to get on over to the computer room. And we're going to head on over to this room right... Look familiar? Yeah! The restoration room, the same room that we woke up in. And guess what awaits us right over here besides nobody's? One single treasure chest. With the ultimate recipe. And it is indeed the ultimate recipe. I'll also grab pulse piece while I'm here because why, why not? We might as well. Right? <laughs> but with this ultimate recipe. Oh, ho. Things just became much, much, much more fun. Let's head on back over to Hall of Bastion. We can go through the borough like usual. Go past all the annoying Heartless that we defeat up to this point. Don't need them anymore. They've given me enough experience and money. Come here, here's the Moogle one last time! Head over to the synthesis materials that we've collected, which isn't much, as well as recipes. We can make the Ultima Weapon! In case you aren't aware of this, this is the best Keyblade in the entire game! And they... And Square Enix has made sure that it is the best in the game. Here's the thing, though. The requirements to make it are 13 Orc Halcom pluses, 
a one orc alchem, a mithril crystal, a dense crystal, a twilight crystal, and three serenity crystals. And we only had seven orc alchem plus crystals, so how do we get how do we get this then? You have to intentionally use an energy crystal to have in the material. And when you do that, you make yourself the ultimate weapon. The Keyblade above all others. Increases MP restoration rate by 75% once all MP has been consumed. And now, Mimble's level up once more. Rank B recipe materials cut by half. Items and creations can be synthesized using only half the materials. And just like that, we are set in stone, people. We now have the best weapon in the game. More or less. The keep away above all others. Increase the MP restoration rate by 75 percent once all MP has been consumed. Not much stronger than the Winter's Proof or Fenrir, mind you. Actually, actually, this is much more powerful than the uh, than the Winter's Proof, but it's not as powerful as Fenrir for obvious reasons. But it's also got four magic, so it's pretty balanced, actually. Better than the Oblivion. Better than uh, the Fatal Crest, I think. It yeah, definitely. This is indeed one of the best weapons you can get. And if I were to recommend anything else, make sure you have this Keyblade when you're taking on Data Rhea matches. Is it, it's possible to do it without it, but if you have it, it'll make your job a lot easier. And now, with that said and done, guys, that's it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. If you guys have enjoyed so far, of course, as always, make sure you leave a like and comment down below. Share this video with your friends, should you feel need to. And of course, subscribe if you're new here to the channel and join the Dread Knights. Sora, Donald, and Goofy, D, and Leon, because he's standing right next to us and wanted something. What, what, what's up? So you've done a lot of growing this past year. And I don't just mean your body, you become even stronger. And that's the Sora I know. Aw, oh, thanks, Leon, I appreciate that. But yeah, so join us and everyone else in our quest to complete the rest of the journal by taking on the data rematches of the organization. And when we do, get, uh, get yet another upgrade to our bronze crown. Because that's gonna be glorious. But hey, until next time, this is my for signing out. Have a great day, take care, and throw up to MTU4 and Carslate, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode slash session things play out either way catch you guys next time hit it to you <laughs>